Hello everyone, my name is Tepo and welcome to Nated Engineering. Today we are doing cycles, power machines and six, which is a continuation from our previous lesson that was IC engine. For a successful operation of a car engine, we need all these four processes to take place, which is the induction, compression, power and exhaust stroke. That is where we'll be able to say we have achieved complete combustion of the fuel. Let's start with these two terms. First is process. And it's the cycle. A process is an exercise that results in a change of substance. Number two. It's the cycle. A cycle is a process that happens in terms of a repeated sequence. So for it to be a cycle, for it to qualify to be a cycle, first it must be a process. Therefore, a process being done over and over, that is what we call a cycle. Here we are having this process where we are completing all these strokes and say we have achieved a complete combustion of a fuel doing these processes over and over that's a cycle but what we are interested in in this chapter it's what is happening inside the cylinder taking in co into consideration the pressure the temperature and the volume as the cycle is taking place inside the cylinder to get that we are going to draw what we call a pv diagram we'll start with a process a, a cycle called an auto cycle we will draw a pv diagram it's pressure volume and we start with our induction stroke our induction stroke is where we are introducing the fuel mixture into the cylinder now we have our top dead center our top dead center is here. There is what we call currency volume, which is the volume where our piston cannot reach. We are going to represent it here. Since this is the side of the volume, from here to here, this is our currency volume, VC. Whatever we do, we are going to start from here, going into that direct into that direction so we start with our induction stroke our induction stroke will start from here where now the fuel mixture is introduced into the cylinder occupying we know we can tell we can see that the volume is increasing from here to here and this is what we are going to call our v1 this is our swept volume Swept volume is the effective volume that was uh, introduced as the piston moved from the top dead center to the bottom dead center. And then we go to the compression. Now, both these two valves are closed. The air fuel mixture inside the cylinder is compressed adiabatically. And as a result, the pressure will increase. This pressure number two and the volume will decrease because it's a compression and we join these two points this process happen using the law we using the uh at their particular and temperature increase from this this right v1 here temperature one and from here is temperature number two 
And then just before the power stroke, the spark plug will ignite, causing an increase in pressure in the fuel mixture that is in the in the compressed fuel mixture that is in the clearance volume. Before the power stroke can take place, there will be an increase in pressure in the fuel in the fuel mixture in the clearance volume and there will be an increase in temperature before it gathers enough pressure to move the piston from the top dead center to the bottom dead center the piece the, the, there will be an increase in pressure and an increase in temperature which will bring us here temperature pressure number three and temperature number three and then from there that is where our power stroke will happen and this expansion will also take place in adiabatic law this is t4 and then now our top our piston is in the bottom dead center before the exhaust stroke what will happen is the out the outlet valve will open and we know that heat will always flow from a high temperature object to a low temperature object so as this valve is as this valve open the fuel mixture or the bent gases inside the chamber will lose some of its heat which will result in a decrease in temperature and then that's where now our exhaust stroke will take place which will be the reversal of the induction stroke now for the purpose of uh, this we ignore this stage we take as if the air that we are using inside the system will be the same air which will be we will be using it over and over therefore the induction and the exhaust stroke are not included so this is what we call the pv diagram everything that you need between t1 and t2 or let's say one two three and four everything that you need between one and two we are going to use the adiabatic law go to the thermodynamics table and use the formulas that correspond with the adiabatic law v1 it's equals to v4 and v3 it's equals to v2 and we also have what we call the ts diagram ts diagram let's erase this Here we'll have our temperature and we'll have S for entropy. Entropy is the measure of disorder. When we have an ice, we know that in an ice, the molecules are closely packed together. Something like this. As we add heat into the ice, the ice will be converted from ice to water. Where now our molecules will be separated, will be scattered. And if we keep on adding heat, this water will be turned to vapor. When now our molecules will be even more scattered. This is the disorder that we are talking about. So from here to here, there will be an increase in, entro in entropy. And from here to here, the entropy will also increase. But if you get from this side going to that side, our entropy will be negative because this is representing order. And we know entropy is the measure of this order. Now, starting from number one to number two. It's from here to here. The expansion happens adiabatically. And we know under adiabatical law, there is, there is no heat exchange or heat rejected. So 
the end there will be no entropy the in the, the temperature will increase but there will be no entropy the entropy is uh s1 it's equals to s2 the will the entropy will not change and then from here we come to this from two to three that is where now our spark plug is igniting causing the increase in heat energy and increase in pressure there will be entropy increase here because the heat is uh, the, the heat inside the heat on the fuel mixture is increasing that's where our explosion takes place and then it will look something like this is number three and then from here this is the expansion still adiabatic no heat exchange and then we get from here to here that is where our outlet valve opens and the heat is lost as the heat is lost that represents order which means our entropy decreases it's number four and number one two three and four and this is our entropy st diagram and this is our pv diagram and these are some of the formulas that we are going to use v1 it's equals to v1 it's this one it's equals to the current the currency volume plus the swept volume swept volume because v1 is here first we have the vo the currency volume and we have the swept volume and a standard efficiency it's equals to one minus it's heat gained no it's heat rejected sorry divided by heat gained supplied and which will be one minus one divided by r the index of adiabatic minus one where our r it's our ratio our compression ratio and it is given in v1 divided by v2 this is our ratio compression ratio and this it's our index of n of adiabatic and we have well done uh, let's erase this to show you have copied we have work done work done it's equals to mr It's equals to T3 minus T4 minus T2 plus T1. The index of adiabatic minus 1. And we use this formula, we use this when we have the same index. When the compression and expansion have the same index, the same index. And if the compression and expansion have different indexes, we are going to use this one. Work done. It's equals to M R T three minus T four divided by E is the expansion, which will be minus mr t2 minus t1 yc minus 1 c is this is expansion and c represent compression and we have pm which is the mean effective pressure it's equals to work done times mass of gas mass of the gas per cycle divided by vs which is the swept volume and that's how we are going to conclude 
the information that you need for our auto cycle um i will see you on the next lesson